Hey everyone and welcome back. I'm really sorry it's been about two weeks I think since I've uploaded any videos. I haven't disappeared completely from YouTube. I had a few questions on whether or not I was done uploading videos since I completed my free divine quest. Uh, just to assure you guys I'm not done. It's just that real life stuff has kind of gotten in the way the past couple weeks and I haven't had time to record and edit any videos. But I'm, I don't plan on being done with YouTube. I do enjoy the process of recording and editing videos and in general I just like sharing my tips with players and I found that doing it through a video medium like this is a little bit easier than having to type out guides in my EC forum so I do still have some ideas for videos if, if, if they're just general horse gameplay tips or free divine earning tips so I'm not done with uploading videos uh, hopefully real life will kind of settle down for a bit and I'll be able to upload more consistently but if not and I do disappear for a while again don't worry I'll I'll be back. So kind of to get back in the swing of things, I wanted to kind of fulfill this video request that I had right before I disappeared. And that was uh, a video on how to get a lot of aging points. So I'm going to be talking about how to get aging points today. First, I'm just going to cover the ways in which you can get aging points. And then most of it, I'm just going to mostly talk about how I personally managed to stock up a ton of aging points. And I'll show you how many aging points that I have in my stockpile on international. This will all be on international today and uh, just how I managed to get that many aging points. So to start out with, uh, one of the ways in which you can get aging points is to trade them with diamonds or passes. And if you go to your store page click on various and you're going to see how many agent points I have. <laughs> um, so that'll take you to this page where you can trade a diamond for an aging point or trade a pass for 20 aging points, three passes for 70, 10 passes for 300 aging points. I can count on one hand probably the number of times I've traded my diamonds for aging points. I will probably not do that anymore. It's been a long time since I've done this and I've never traded passes for aging points that I can recall. I just don't think it's worth it. My diamonds are more valuable than getting rid of one diamond for an aging point let alone passes so if you want to do that that's fine you can go to this page and you can do that I just don't personally like it I don't think it's worth it another way you can get aging points and this is going to be another way in which I don't really recommend or that I do is that when you use a piece of cloud you will get two aging points and it will also age your horse back by four months so you can get aging points this way I have done this before in the past when I was like super desperate and I had a few pieces of cloud in stock and I really needed some aging points really, really badly and I would use a piece of cloud on a horse to get aging points. I don't do that anymore because I, again, I don't feel it's worth it even if I had the pieces of cloud in stock because you can get um, over 100,000 equus sometimes if you're lucky in the exchanges. I've sold them for over 200,000 if there's not many in there. A lot of players place a lot of value on pieces of cloud. So I I don't use pieces of cloud anymore to get aging points. I don't feel it's worth it. I can I can sell these or trade these in exchanges and just find a better use for them that way. Another way you can get aging points is to have them gifted to you by a friend. So if you go to your friends page, you click on give an item, click on the various tab, click on aging points, click give, and that will just give them one aging point. Don't worry, it won't give them your full aging point stockpile. It does only give them one aging point. I've done this before, I can attest to that fact. So don't worry about that. Uh, another way, this will only be available on a few different servers. If you go to community directories, click on the horses tab. And if you type in Archimedes, hopefully I spelled that correctly, this will be the Divine Horse Archimedes. He used to be called a special horse along with Harlequin. And I want to feel like the Falabella was a special horse at one point. I don't know. But they were eventually just changed to Divine Horses. And he was given to players that participated in the horse quiz and submitted a question to the horse quiz. You're not going to see his question because I answered it today already, but he'll have a question at the top of his page. Each Archimedes has a different question. If you answer that question correctly, you will be given one aging point and you can only do this once a day. So if you don't get the question correct, you'll have to wait till tomorrow to answer a question correctly in order to get your aging point. And because each Archimedes has his own different question, if you don't know the question that's on this one's page, just go back to the directories, uh, type it in, find a different Archimedes and find a question that you can't answer. So it's like a really nice quiz that you can just skip around and only answer the question that you know. Um, another way is that you can win aging points from 
events and these I'm going to now start talking about the ways in which I personally try to get aging points. I'll do Archimedes once in a while, but because it's one a day and I already have a ton of aging points, it's almost not worth my trouble anymore. But you can win aging points in events. I know a lot of players, I'll also admit that this event doesn't have the best prizes, but not all of these prizes are trash. You can still get use out of these items, even if it's not a huge use like you would hope for. So for example, like this little cardboard box, the regular prize box does have the possibility of winning three aging points. The intermediate intermediate prize box you can possibly get 20 aging points and if we look at my prizes I have won at least 20 and 3 aging points from these boxes before so I've won at least 23 aging points total I'm not sure if I've won more aging points than that or not because it doesn't tell me if I've won the same prize more than once or maybe it does and it's not showing that right now because I haven't won more than that but anyway uh getting aging points as a prize from events is a big way in which I've stored up aging points Another way also, and you probably would have seen me do this in my Fruit Divine Quest series, is aging point UFOs. And oftentimes, again, as I did in my Fruit Divine Quest series, I will tend to skip carrot and apple UFOs in hopes that it will eventually generate an aging point UFO. Because if you skip over one UFO, the next UFO should end up being something different. And aging point UFOs have between one and six aging points in them. Six is the max uh, aging points I've ever seen in a single aging point UFO. So that's another way I've managed to collect a lot of aging points. And now we're going to get into the main way, which is AP farming. AP farming or aging point farming is just caring for horses daily in hopes of finding aging points when they wake up. You can use any horse to find aging points so long as that horse does not have a Morpheus's arms. Because if you look at the Morpheus's arms page, I'm going to go here real quick click on this. If you look at the bottom, horses equipped with Morpheus's arms can no longer find aging points. So as long as it doesn't have an MA on it, it can find aging points. I've, I find aging points on my diamonds, on my diamonds, on my divines, on my wilds and my foals. Doesn't matter. As long as it doesn't have an MA, you're, you're good to go. You can find aging points on it. So all your horses are valuable in this point. And if you want to pull double duty with some of your horses, like if you don't, if you feel like it's kind of wasteful for you to just use horses, because um, some players will just have a farm just for aging point hunters, that, which is that they'll just do the bare minimum, which is feed, groom, and bed. And sometimes they'll do a lesson with them. If you want to have more purpose out of your horses than that, that's fine. You know, um, for example, my I have a training farm here of horses that uh, these are my trophy coat trophy coat horses that I started bolding a year ago because I want to bold all my trophy coats so I can increase my general ranking. So I have like I don't know prob I don't know if I even have a hundred in here like this farm this farm though I do not work. But um, I have quite a few trophy horses in here that I train every day. They have the possibility of finding aging points when they wake up. It's there's been no odds release on how often a horse will find aging point. There's been some theories that it's one out of a six chance or one out of seven that that horse will find an aging point. But I care for about maybe probably no more than 400, anywhere between three to 400 horses a day. And I maybe get between 50 and 100 aging points. So if you want to find more aging points, just take care of more horses every day. But once you care for a thousand horses that day, you won't find any more aging points. So you'll have to wait for the next day to start finding Asian points again. But this is one farm. These are these guys are pulling double duty. So they're training for me and they also have the chance of finding Asian points. My divines, again, these guys, when I care for them, they'll find aging points for me. My pass horses are the big deal because I have over 100 pass horses, probably a couple hundred. They're probably the majority of my three to 400 horses that I work daily. So these guys are pulling double duty and that they'll become a pass horse eventually and they find they have a chance of finding aging points every day. That's why pass horses, I feel, are super valuable. They get me equus from doing lessons and they can find aging points. They're not a waste of time. Aging points are money. Like my past horses have actually helped me build up my aging point stockpile. Now, the big underrated um, farm that I have is my immortal AP farmers. Now, all of these horses are immortal. I did not buy only probably a small handful of these horses. I actually placed this philosopher's stone on them myself to make them immortal. I have a hundred and I have 106 mortal horses in here 
And when I get them, I will then put a hypnose blanket on them. Some of them did come with the philosopher stone hypnose blanket, and that was like a bonus. I've been solely collecting these horses over time. I already collect retired coats and golden apple coats, and those horses quite typically have are already immortal. So it's kind of like a boon that I'm a retired coat collector, and because that helps me amass my immortal AP hunters. But anyway, I will put a hypnose blanket on them if they don't already have it. So this guy is immortal. And he has a hypnose blanket on him. The hypnose blanket allows me to put the horse to bed without being in boarding. And look, he's not in an EC and he found an aging point. So your horse also does not have to be in an EC to find an aging point. The hypnose blanket does not affect it unless he has a Morpheus' arm. So the nice thing about this being a mortal and with the hypnose blanket is that A, I don't have to board him. I think yesterday I had to board... I had to board an awful lot of horses yesterday and I'm still exhausted from doing it because I don't have the Bucephalus legendary horse and it just took forever to board all those horses. So these guys, I never have to worry about boarding them and because they're immortal, I don't have to feed him or groom him and all I have to do is click put to bed every day, which is why I really feel that the Hypnos Blanket is a very underrated item. A lot of pl players don't like the Hypnos Blanket, but if you want to help yourself find aging points, you know, save these, save these up. You can get these from defrosting a divine horse, the divine horse frost. It's really hard to find. It's like really rare for them to drop them. So I usually rely on getting them in the exchanges or uh, winning them in an event because a lot of players don't like the hypnose blanket and I don't use Helios rays all that often. So I'm usually easily able to trade one Helios ray and get three hypnose blankets out of that deal. So very underrated item. Now, the main way in which really I've gotten my aging points, well, it's it's from just caring for a boatload of horses daily, but it's mostly by setting limits. You know, think of your aging points. I now have, I have 13,418 13, aging points right now. Once you hit 10,000 aging points, it'll turn into these three little dots and then you have to hover over it to see how many aging points you have. But um, think of these aging points like you're precious. Don't use them just willy nilly. I started coming up with milestones for myself once I saw players that had like 10,000, 5,000, 60,000 aging points. I thought that was so cool. And I'm like, I really want that many aging points. So I just started hoarding them. I never wanted to use them. And for a while, I just focused on stockpiling. I tried not to age up horses at all. But then finally, once I hit about 1,000, um, every time I would hit another 100 aging point milestone, like once I got 1,100 aging points, I would not let myself go under 1,100. So if I ended that day AP hunting with, say, 1,136 aging points, I would only let myself use those 36 aging points for that day. If I didn't use that many or any at all, that's fine, but I just could not go under 1100. Some players will probably set them a limit if they know how many aging points they get daily. Like let's say they earn about 100 aging points daily. Maybe they'll only use 50 or 30 or whatever. That's fine. You can set your limit to do that, but I don't pay attention much to how many aging points I earn daily. And so I didn't feel like that was super reliable for me. And my, my way of just saying that I wouldn't go under a certain number of aging points worked out pretty well. And I just focused on not spending them. And I found that after a while, I was earning about a thousand aging points over a month's time, just out of the 400 horses I work daily. So that worked out pretty well for me. If you guys have any other tips on saving aging points, or if you have any further questions on how to earn free aging points, I think those are all the those are all the ways that I'm pretty sure you can earn aging points in, but I mostly covered the ways in which I earn my free aging points. So if you guys want to share your own tips, you know, go ahead and do that in the comments or send me a message on horse or something. But that's pretty much how I earn, I stock up aging points. Just treat them like you're precious and don't spend them. And after a while, hopefully you'll have over 10,000 aging points as well. So hopefully I'll be able to record more consistently again, uh, We'll just have to see where real life takes me right now. Hopefully it'll kind of settle down. I won't be so hectic right now. But uh, thank you for joining me today, guys. Hopefully I won't disappear for so long in the future. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.